babies it's your girl paris simone or whatever and today we are i don't want to say back with another video um today <laughs> we're going to be doing a red flags to look out for in relationships video so this one goes for girls and guys all these tips girls do these same things and guys do these same things anyone and everyone needs to look out for these things when getting in a relationship or when in a relationship so i'm gonna give you guys all these tips and yeah i hope you guys really pay attention and really you know take this advice and put it into your life because these are very common red flags that could really affect the way your relationship goes if you overlook these flags. Okay, so red flag number one, if you're having a conversation with them, getting to know them, and they don't ask you any questions about you, <laughs> It's because they don't want to know. They don't really care. They love talking about themselves. They think that, yeah, you should want to know about me. I'm great. I'm amazing. This is an interview. I'm going to tell you everything you want to know because you should want to know that. But I don't really have any questions for you because I'm not actually interested. I just want someone to talk about me with. You know what I mean? Um, you know, girls can do this and they'll, you know, they'll just want you to ask questions. Ask me questions. Like, what else do you want to know about me? Like, why isn't she asking you anything? Or guys will constantly just talk about themselves, talk about themselves. I'm doing this, yeah. You know, I went through this and like, you know, my friend did this, so then I had to do this. Meanwhile, they don't even know your middle name. So this is an issue. Like, if someone is really into you, they're gonna wanna know everything about you. They're gonna wanna know how you think, how you grew up, who you grew up with, who's important to you, what your dreams are. So if they're not asking those questions, they must not wanna know. And why would you not want to know that if you really like me and you want to get to know me? You know what I mean? So that's a big red flag, like a really, really big red flag. And what I love about that flag is that you can kind of get that flag out of the way as soon as you meet someone. You know, first date, you should be looking at how they're trying to get to know you. So that is a dead giveaway right away. This person probably isn't the one. Red flag number two, the show off. Okay boys do this more often than girls do but there are girls who do it as well what i mean as a show off um is someone who whenever you're around they always have to do the most like he has to show how strong he is how better he is at certain sports than all these other people like he has to do this he has to do this he could do this nobody else can do this same thing for her she's this she's that she got this in order she got this ain't no girl compared to her blah 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 I'm so sorry, that shows so much insecurity, okay? Someone who is really secure and confident is not gonna be cocky and trying to put everybody else down to lift themselves up, you know what I mean? And usually when guys or girls are showing off, it's to convince you that they're the best thing in the world. If you really were, why would you need to convince me? I'ma just see it, it'll just show. You won't have to convince me that you're great and the reason a lot of people will do this is because they aren't really secure and they want you to think they're the best. And, you know, sometimes we try to show off a little bit, you know, just to make someone, you know, think we're cool and that's fine. But when it's the only thing they do and they're constantly putting down others to do so, that shows a lot of insecurity. And that will affect your, that will affect your relationship later on because if you start to do better than them in anything, in any way, shape or form, they're not going to like that because naturally they want to show off they want to be the best one and if they're insecure and you're not and you're doing great they're gonna start to bring you down and try to put you on that lower level that they put everybody else on to make themselves seem greater so that is a big red flag big red flag that's why is that so hard to say anyways next okay the next big red flag is that they don't let you meet their friends girl or guy See, in the beginning of a relationship, I kind of get it. You know, you really want to get to know that person first before you introduce them to family or friends. That is fine. But if it's been months and y'all are like really exclusive and you haven't met their friends, it's probably because there's another girl or they're embarrassed of you. When a guy or a girl likes you, when anybody is really into someone, they want to show everybody this person. Like when I... 
am talking to a guy that I really, really like, or I'm dating a guy that I really, really like, best believe I want all my friends to meet him, all my family to meet him. I'm bringing him to everything that I can um, because I think he's great. And I, you know, want everyone to think he's great too. So obviously I'm going to give them the opportunity to get to get to know why can I talk? Dang -a! So obviously I'm going to give them the opportunity to get to know the person that I've been falling in love with. You know what I mean? So if they're not bringing you around their friends, there could possibly be a possibility that you're not actually their person. There, there could be another person who their friends do know. And they might know about you too. But this person that you're with doesn't take you that seriously enough to show you off to their friends like they do the other person that they're actually with. Um, that is a possibility or they just are embarrassed. Another red flag, this red flag isn't necessarily put on the person that you're dating or talking to, um, but it is a red flag for your relationship, and that is if their friends don't like you. So when you're dating someone or talking to someone and their friends don't like you, depending on how seriously they take their friendships and how uh, much they value their friends' opinions, this could make it more... What's the word? This will give it a bigger chance that they might cheat on you. Um, with guys, it's like guys are going to go out. Guys are going to talk to other people. If his friends are talking to other girls, all this stuff, they're out. And none of his friends like you. Why wouldn't they tell him to go talk to this girl? Why wouldn't they tell him to go hit up his ex or homegirl or this girl that was looking at him at the mall? Forget your girlfriend. We don't even like her. Like, blah, 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 blah. Why wouldn't they? And if he's not strong minded or if he cares about them more than he cares about you and he don't even like you like that now because they've been beating you down in his head, why wouldn't he do it? You know what I mean? Like that's a really big red flag. Um, and a lot of times too, like you, when you get with someone and you're dating someone, you also kind of get with their friends in a way. Like this is their life. These are their people. You want them to like you. Like you want to be able to hang out with them too. You want to be able to have that good relationship with everyone so that there's no tension. If you don't get along with his friends, his friends don't like you, then you feel uncomfortable. They feel uncomfortable. He feels uncomfortable. She feels uncomfortable. It's awkward. You know what I mean? So if his friends or her friends don't like you, I just feel like why even you know try it's different if one friend doesn't like you okay well that your significant other just needs to put that friend in their place and fix that but if they all are not a fan the relationship is probably just not gonna work out and when it comes to a girl's friends not liking you she might not cheat on you she might she might she but most of the time she won't cheat on you but there is a bigger chance that she will break up with you um because her friends are talking to her about it but a lot of the times i've seen in females that when their friends don't like their significant other instead of listening to their friends they kind of just separate themselves from their friend and get really really involved in that relationship because they want to prove that their friends are wrong like they want to prove that this guy is great and he's amazing um and that is a red flag for yourself if you are a girl who's in that situation. Um, and also, if your friends don't like your significant other, pay attention to that, you know? Because a lot of the times you have a biased opinion because you're going to think this person is great. They're your crush. Like, everything about them is going to be amazing to you right now. But they might be able to see through a lot of things that you haven't caught. And so it's just really that decision of what you want and trying to see, you know, are my friends right? Like, really listen to your friends. Are my friends right? Am I tripping? Like, is this person low-key kind of sketchy? Or do I need new friends and kind of need to take space because maybe they're jealous of my relationship? Um, but yeah, there's a lot more that goes into that. If you guys want a video on that, I could literally do a whole video on that. So let me know. Okay, the last and final and most important red flag um, because I feel like this one is really most important because people don't catch this because it's kind of manipulative and you don't really get it until after the fact. That red flag is that they try to show off their loyalty. So if you're dating someone and they're constantly coming to you, babe, babe, this person hit on me at the mall, but I didn't flirt back. Like I literally just kept walking and I told them, no, like, sorry, I'm in a relationship, babe. And then this person at the mall and this person at the uh, car wash came to me and was like trying to get my number. And I said, no, I said, no. And this, this guy tried to kiss me and I told him no. And then this girl tried to lick my toes and I told her, no, 
why why are you like what do you expect i get it to have those conversations with your significant other like babe why this girl come up to me and try to do this like she knew good and well you know if this person was being outrageous and you want to have that conversation like babe guess what happened to me today but if this person is coming to you and telling you these things and expecting praise from it that is a red flag and it is a red flag because it shows that loyalty isn't a normal thing to them like you're not gonna go to um you're not gonna go to work and then come home to your friend and be like i went to work today like guess what i went to work i went to work yeah you should go to work you should have a job and you should work hard and you should make money you have to make money to live like nobody's praising you for going to work that's just how life is you know what i mean it's the same thing with a relationship i shouldn't have to praise you for being loyal because that is the first step to being in a relationship is loyalty so you should like trying to get praise from that shows me that you're not used to being loyal and now that you found someone that you like and you're excited about being loyal it's because you're you, you're not usually loyal to people. And if you're not usually loyal to people, you might be loyal to me now, but eventually your tendencies will catch up and it'll mess up the relationship. You're probably going to cheat. Okay, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I know I kind of rambled on. Um, there's just so much that goes into each of these red flags that I could talk about. If you guys want a part two, let me know. I can get that out for you as well. Um, but yeah, please pay attention to these. I think it's really time to take relationships a lot more seriously. Um, not only respecting the relationship, but also respecting yourself in a relationship. I feel like we lose a lot of respect for ourselves when we get excited about someone and want to be with them. We start to suppress our feelings and our emotions and our standards just to be with someone. And I don't think that that's okay because there is someone out there who is specifically made for you to love and they're going to respect your boundaries and, re and have all your standards reached. So don't settle. Um, pay attention to these things and really figure out what red flags are deal breakers for you. I love you guys so much. Please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's right here. Also, I'm in a girl group called EYN, and we are coming out with our first single called Check On Me. It's coming out July 19th. I'm so excited for it. So please follow us on Instagram, EYN Music underscore. We also have a TikTok, EYN Music, without the underscore. Um, and you guys will get updates on the song, little snippets of the song. And yeah, so I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!